Natalie Killface Morgan face off for the Pro WBC and National Featherweight title. We are done with the amateurs here, and we are going straight into the pros. And now in pro bouts, the difference, folks, if you haven't seen before, knees to the head are legal, elbows are unpadded, and they are five three-minute rounds rather than two. This is the road to one tournament, folks. The winner of this tournament will receive a contract for $100 thousand dollars with the largest fight promotion in the world one fighting championship tonight is the first round and that man you see right there is omar ahmed this to tournament will take place over four different events omar ahmed a legend uh, around the new york scene been fighting for over 20 years he started at 13 he's now 34 years of age and he says he feels better at 34 than he ever did at 20. the first fight i ever saw 20 years ago omar ahmed was the headliner <laughs> I mean, he has been everywhere at this point. Um, he started, he said he really feels like he's a new fighter now because he started wrestling and MMA training five years ago. He said the conditioning is totally different. He feels mm -hmm. like he's in such great condition after fighting, after training for five minute rounds and that wrestling conditioning as well. But mm -hmm. he has a pedigree in kickboxing and Muay Thai like you wouldn't believe. And he told me, I am not here to make friends. This is a kill or be killed mentality and he wants that 1FC contract. But his first step towards that $100,000 contract involves this man, Felipe Mercado, out of Seton Gym. He has an 11 and four professional record coming here just over two years ago from Brazil. It really is a testament to this man. Two years ago, coming here, from his native country, now fighting for a spot in the largest fighting organization in the world, 1FC. Known for to be a very, very adept clincher and boxer, Felipe Machado is no man that you can sleep on whatsoever. And we will go to Michael Hansen to kick off this road to one tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is scheduled for five rounds in the first round of the Road to One Lightweight Tournament, which will culminate with the winner earning a six-figure contract with one championship. This bout will be under full rules. Sponsored by MD Photo and Ink and Southpaw Stitches. And after the bell, your referee in charge, Chris Romulo. And now, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Wearing black, trimmed with green, he is representing Long Island MMA. Official weight, 135 pounds. He comes in tonight with a record, 12 victories, with four defeats, fighting out of Sunnyside, Queens, New York, Omar Punches Ahmed. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Wearing black and red, he represents Seatan Jim. A visual weight, 133 pounds. He steps through the ropes tonight with a record, 14 victories with four defeats from Annapolis City, Gaius Brazil, Felipe Machado. Omar Ahmed out of Long Island MMA, coached by Ryan LaFleur, Brian Michelino. Brian Boom Kelleher will be facing off against Felipe Machado, fighting out of Seton Gym, the legendary Aziz Nabi, his trainer. You see Mike in the corner there. You see Omar Estevez, a well known fighter here. Omar Ahmed gave us a little bit of an insight. He said, You know, I know the guy's a good clincher, but. In order to clinch me, he's got to get through these hands. <laughs> Good display of sportsmanship, and we will get this started now. Five three-minute rounds, a 10-point must system. Knees to the head, elbows all legal. This is professional Muay Thai at the highest level. Let's 
Strong kicks coming from Omar Ahmed early on. Felipe Mikado not quite reacting yet. Responding with one of his own. The level of these guys is just so high that I'm like already <laughs> caught watching. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> speaks for itself, you know. Yeah, Omar Ahmed living this life for so long. Lives a truly Spartan lifestyle, denying mm -hmm. himself any pleasures. Anything beyond making himself the most effective kickboxer and Muay Thai fighter, he has absconded. He has shed that away. And what we see is the result before us tonight. Nice shot there from Felipe Machado. Ooh, solid Big overhead. Big punch. Exchanger of punches. Ooh, solid body shot from Machado. Answered with head, blistering head shots coming in from Ahmed. Yeah, <laughs> it's stressful to watch. Because Ahmed is throwing absolutely everything he has into every single shot. Yes, there is no holding back. He is just putting everything in every shot. That's a great point there, Molly. Minute and 20 remaining in this round. Now, in the pro portion of this card, rounds are three minutes rather than two. Solidly get, they get into the clinch there. Machado with a nice combination. Omar Ahmed doing a nice job angling out of the corner there. This is a five round fight and oh, very nice right elbow. Omar Ahmed indicating that may have been to the back of the head. Looks like referee Chris Romulo did warn Felipe Machado. You really get the uh, the idea of how dangerous the elbows are when you take away the elbow pads. Oh, cucking happens so quickly. Yeah. Vying for their spot. Oh, that was a very nice combination from Machado. Went to the body and a left hook towards the head. Nope. Oh, oh, oh. Man, Walt is really in a bad position. He, that's almost twice as good. <laughs> Walt's going to get squished. I'm not seeing any uh, blood or cuts anywhere on either competitor. What a round. I'm I'm so stressed. <laughs> it's it, It's a stressful round to watch, absolutely. Watching pro Muay Thai live, you know, like you watch... Watching Muay Thai live is intense, and then watching pro Muay Thai is extremely intense. Like, I find myself holding my breath all the time just watching it, just because, you know, the pace is high. Elbows are flying. Like these yeah. guys are trained assassins. <laughs> and you, you can, you can, you get that feeling watching a pro Muay Thai. It's like, I, I don't know if this happens to you, but I'm watching. If I'm in the audience, it's like, uh, do you like, start flinching? Yes, I, exactly. I've been like jumping. I mean, it was happening during Janine and Susan's fight too. I'm like jumping, like I'm checking a kick. <laughs> Are you getting some kind of post-traumatic <laughs> <laughs> response? When I watch uh, people around my size fight, I I flinch a lot. It's really weird, and I get very, if I'm close to a fight, I get very anxious watching other women fight because it's, it brings it, like, into reality. This is in the 135-pound division, second of five scheduled three-minute rounds on the road to one tournament here at the Warriors Cup. Liam Tarrant and Molly Silbernagel joining you here. Live from Killer Queens, New York. Omar Ahmed's hometown. My uh, my coach in South Carolina will always say that Brazilian Muay Thai is kind of its own flavor of Muay Thai, which, you know, every everywhere that does Muay Thai that's not Thailand, and even Thailand has its own flavor of Muay Thai. Solid right hand from Machado. Yes. Just a little stumble there. You, you're saying? Yeah, it's, it's just interesting to watch it. I've never seen, like, you know, Brazilian Muay Thai live before. <laughs> Big punch. Ooh, wow. That flying kick. Seems like Omar Ahmed wasn't able to quite recover in time, and Machado going right after him, not trying to mm -hmm. give him any room to breathe. Yeah. You can really see how much uh, Felipe loves to clinch. He's kind of going for it. 
Oh, solid elbow from Yikes. Machado. Wow. Dagger's flying. It's like throwing, it's like having an ax fight in yeah. there. <laughs> I think that the first round was going to Omar, but now I'm kind of. You feel the I think, momentum yeah, going towards uh, Machado? So. One minute and 40 remaining. Remember, folks, these are three minute rounds. That is an eternity in there. Yeah. The crowd in rapt attention. Beautiful body shot from Machado. Machado. Oh, nice elbow there. Machado does a nice job of uh, trying. He's trying. It seems like he's trying to get Omar into the ropes, but Omar doing very slick about getting out of there and getting himself <laughs> yeah. out of trouble. He's got a great ring, a uh, sense of ring awareness of where he is. Referee Chris Romulo just warning Felipe Machado. Seems like that was a. It looked like Omar had slipped. Referee's trying to get mm -hmm. in between. And then Machado threw a shot. I'm sure, inadvertent. Solid shot there from Omar Ahmed. I tell you, the thing about Machado that I'm noticing too is he throws those hooks just with everything in it. Yeah. Really coming for it. Ooh, solid right elbow from Machado. Mm -hmm. Nice body work from Machado there. Backing up Omar Ahmed. Ahmed circling out. Ten seconds remain in the second round. Machado really has a nice tight guard. So when it, when he's getting punched, it's hard for it to land. Mm. Yeah. A little bit of a low blow. Inadvertent low blow there. Now in this case, if he were to get hit with a low blow, yes. and it's right at the final bell of the round, do you get the five minutes or do you get the one minute? I believe if it's a bad enough low blow, they give you the five. Okay. But it, it, I was thinking just as that happened, I was like, you know, if you're going to get hit with a low blow, I don't know why you would want to get hit with a That's a terrible low blow. time to do it. <laughs> any, any time is a bad time to get a low blow. <laughs> However, the worst would be just as you're going into that one-minute rest because you're trying to recover, recuperate, and at the same time, listen to your coaches, yeah. plan your strategy out. But I'll tell you, when you see the amount of talent in the Seton corner there, you see Taj Rueda, Omar Estevez, Mike there, and of course, you cannot speak about Seton without mentioning the man Aziz Nabi himself, legend in this sport. And here we go, three of a scheduled five three-minute rounds in this road to one tournament fight. The winner of this will go on to the next round of the tournament, which will be sometime in the next three months. That was a solid right hand to start this round off. Ahmed looked a little wobbled from it. Yeah, he started out the, the first round hot, and then he's kind of, like, struggled to get his range. Not not range, but like, he struggled to kind of find his openings. Yeah, Machado, as you mentioned before, Molly, very tight defense. Mm -hmm. the shots just come in, and they kind of, they don't really seem to have much of an effect on him. Yeah. Machado's got very good eyes, too. He's really picking things up quickly. Yeah. Solid knee for Machado. With a flurry of punches that Ahmed slipping and ducking out of the way there. Wow. These are just brutal shots going back and forth. Mm -hmm. Two ten remaining in this third round. Both men trying to get themselves... One more round of the tournament closer to that $100,000 contract with one fighting championship. Warriors Cup is the sole partner in the United States with one fighting championship. Oof. Wow. Brutal exchange of elbows yeah. there. It seems like in these exchanges, in my opinion, I think Machado's getting the better of them. I think so. Um, his defense is a little tighter, and I think his composure is a little tighter. Um, he's hitting, and because of that, I think he's hitting with more power. Seeing a lot of nice movement from Omar Ahmed there, but it seems like Machado is just relentless trying yeah. to walk him down. 
And uh, on Omar's body, you can see some redness from knees and kicks and stuff. And I think that it's making him hesitant to throw his punches because it opens that up. Machado's timing very good. Yeah. One minute left in this third round. We're officially more than halfway through this fight. Omar Med not quite able to capitalize on that. Nice solid one-two from Ahmed. Ooh, vicious right hand from Felipe Machado. Mm -hmm. Machado doing a really nice job with range control here, getting in there, getting the elbows in, yeah. and then being able to get back outside again. What I'm also noticing is there, a s couple seconds ago, both of them threw an exchange of two punches, and Omar's punches kind of like, they seemed like they were fading, whereas uh, Machado's punches, they seemed still very crisp, like it's a first round for him. Ten seconds remaining in this third round. I mean, they, these exchanges are just coming back and forth at a blistering pace mm -hmm. right now. Both men looking fatigued. How could you not? Yeah. They're setting a grueling pace. I mean, they're going as hard now as they were in the first round, and it's already been nine minutes. Whoever moves on may be fighting a winner from the March 24th date. That is our next date here at the Warriors Cup, where round two of this tournament will take place. We have Sean Climaco, Ethan Geffen, Diego Yegazar and Sulia Dungse fighting in that bracket. And if the level of competition that we're seeing out of both of these fighters is any indication, this is going to be a nail-biting tournament. Mm -hmm. We'd like to give a shout out to 1FC here at the Warriors Cup. We are honored to be partnered with you. And here we go, fourth round of five scheduled. And all credit due to Chris Tran, James Guccione, and Eddie Marini for putting on terrific matchups all night. We have got two more fights going on after this. Our main event, Tierra Brand. Natalie Morgan, but first, we will see who the winner of this road to one tournament fight is here in the fourth round. We got one more round after this. Machado is really targeting the left or the right side of Omar Ahmed right now. Machado doing a nice job ducking under that spinning attack from mm -hmm. Ahmed. Well, you can see some welts forming on Omar's side. Omar Ahmed in the blue, Felipe Machado in the red. Felipe doing a great job going upstairs, downstairs, really mixing yeah. up his attacks. I was just going to say, he's, he's found success and made Omar think about like the shots to the body, and I was just as I was thinking, hmm, is he going to you know target the head? Then he did. Omar Ahmed again running into that tight defense of Felipe Machado, which he has been keeping up all night. Oh, Machado going in for a vicious elbow. Ahmed with a slick move to angle out of there. And when you're facing a dangerous opponent, as both of these men are right now, you do not want to leave any openings. Vicious, very nice elbow from Machado. 1.30 remaining in this fourth round of five scheduled. Liam Tarrant, Molly Silvernagel joining you here on the road to one at Warriors Cup 50. And again, this is a 10 point must system. Winner of a round gets 10, the loser of a round gets nine or less. No knockdowns so far in this fight, which is a testament to the toughness of both of these competitors. Nice punches from Omar. Solid right hand from Omar again. His nickname is Omar Punches. And we can see why. <laughs> Omar Punches, he certainly does. <laughs> yes, can attest. <laughs> it has been verified here at Warriors Cup 50. <laughs> 
Tell you, I'm very imp ooh. Just as I was saying, I'm very impressed with the guard of Machado. Seems like Omar started getting through it. Mm -hmm. Both men feeling the effects of the pace they've set thus far. Yes. 17 seconds remain in the fourth. Ooh. Machado is so precise with that that downward chopping elbow. Yeah. Every time I think like, oh my god, this is <laughs> this is the one. <laughs> Machado getting out of the way of that spinning attack. Omar Ahmed comes back to the corner. Machado goes back to his before they go into this fifth and final round of this opening frame in the Road to One tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to thank our sponsors, One Fighting Championship, Muay Thai Attic, providing the gear, the Muay Thai Project. You can follow them at Muay Thai Project, changing lives through Muay Thai. Samir Nath, attorney at law at better underscore call underscore Sam. You will know my name, Fightwear, at YWKMN, Blau Pre-Workout at Blau Pre-Workout, Athlon Rub, the best in the business for warm-up and recovery. Be fit, be well athletics. For CBD, Cali Cashews at Cali Cashew Official. VSL Fightwear at VSL Fighting, training tools and gear. MD Photo and Ink, of course, Manny Fernandez doing a tremendous job. Southpaw Stitches for providing clothing for all of our female competitors tonight. And the Mason Jar down in Greer, South Carolina. Here we go, fifth and final round of this Road to One tournament fight. Felipe Machado in the red, Omar Ahmed in the blue. Nice solid punch from Omar. Three minutes remaining until we will see who will move on in this tournament. And we know Machado is an extremely effective clincher. We haven't seen a whole ton of clinching in this fight. Yeah. Referee Chris Romulo stepping in to take the project off. As they say, to be the man, you've got to beat the man. And that is quite a switching kick. And to move on to the next level of the tournament and a chance at the largest fight promotion in the world in the 135-pound division, they will need to move past this round. Omar Red going for the body punches. Not quite effective. Both men looking exhausted, but still throwing fire. Minute and a half left. Yeah, I feel like the fifth round <laughs> of a three-minute round, it's it's grueling. Have we mentioned how slick the canvas is, too, by the time, this time of night? Yes. We're at a, in our main event there. These are the co-main events, the Road to One tournament. We still have our main event, Tierra Brand and Natalie Morgan face off for the WBC title. Oh, cut. it looks like we got a cut. We've got a cut over the left side of Omar Ahmed's head. Not really in a dangerous location, especially with a minute left in the fight. It's not impeding his vision at all, so it's unlikely that uh, the ref would stop it. Ooh, solid uppercut from Ahmed. Less than a minute remains now. Omar's kind of brought back the crispness in his punches. For a, for a bit, they were not quite as crisp, and I think he kind of found his... Um, Hot sauce, so to speak. Again, downstairs, upstairs, which Machado has used so well throughout mm -hmm. this fight. Less than 30 seconds remain here. Machado with a nice punch, followed by a knee. Ahmed steps away, breaks the action. Machado still pursuing. Ahmed with a very slick hit Catching, to the supporting leg. The leg. 10 seconds remain in this fight. And this will go to a decision. Wow, what a tremendous display by both these athletes. Omar Ahmed out of Long Island MMA and Felipe Machado out of the famed Seton Gym in New York. 
Doctors taking a look at the cut there on Omar's head. Doesn't look to be too severe, which is always good. And we will have a decision shortly. In my opinion, Molly, I think Felipe Machado did the more effective work in there. I think so. Um, yeah, I, I would lean it kind of decisively towards Felipe Machado. We will see what the judges come to and who will be moving on in this tournament. Truly a historic tournament for American Muay Thai. History being made here once again at the Warriors Cup. It appears we have a decision for Felipe Machado with a backflip. He, he has enough energy after that to still pull off a backflip. That is <laughs> impressive. I don't think I could do that fresh. Yeah. Let alone being in front of a warrior like Omar Ahmed for 15 minutes. You know, I think my one fear in life is being upside down. <laughs> so backflips are out of the question for me. <laughs> Aren't you a rock climber? <laughs> Isn't that kind of part of the game? Yeah, I try to stay with my head above my <laughs> feet, you know. And we are going to go to Michael Hansen for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. And our judges at ringside have scored this contest. 49-46, 49-46, and 50-45, all for your winner by unanimous decision and advancing to the semifinals of the Road to One Lightweight Tournament, Felipe Machado! Felipe Machado, seeing there with Taj Rueda and Mike Siton in the ring there with a well-earned victory and moving on to round two of this tournament which will be held two events from now. Our upcoming Excellent dates. Fight. A fantastic fight. I mean, how could you not fall in love with this sport after seeing something like that? Mm -hmm. Our next date is March 24th, April 21st, June 9th, July 21st, September 8th, October 20th, and December 15th. Plenty of more action coming from the Warriors Cup. You can follow us at Warriors Cup underscore 3 PP. You can follow me at Liam Talks Fights and Molly at Molly underscore Silver Bagel. Keep up with all of the Warriors.